Workload schedule in reverse order is called workback schedule. Starting with the delivery date and ending with the start date, we can reverse engineer the schedule based on the due date. How about a detailed calculation of that along with a Gantt chart? Hello there, this is Faria Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. On this blank worksheet, we will learn how to create a workback schedule in Excel. We will add project name, its job descriptions, their date calculation, and create a Gantt chart based on those. On another worksheet, we will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. A workbook schedule is a useful tool to ensure that each task receives attention it requires in a timely manner. It helps us with allocation of our resources effectively, with proper time management, with information on unrealistic task completion dates, and also to create milestones. Let's create a layout first. For that, let's go to Insert tab and from the Illustrations group, click on Shapes drop-down. From the Stars and Banners section, let's choose this one and let's add it here and type Workback Schedule Summary here. Change its format like that with no outline. And for the text here, let's make it bold and size as 14 for alignment, center alignment. Let's move the banner a bit above like that. Now in B4, let's type project name to add our project name here. Start date, end date, finally duration. In G4, let's type job number tab, description, duration for each job, start date, end date. Now let's insert our company logo here. From the insert tab, go to illustrations and click on pictures drop down. Choose this device. Here, choose company logo, insert. Let's place it here. Now, let's select B4 to E5. Press Ctrl to select G4 to K14 as well. And from the Home tab under the Font group, choose All Borders from Borders drop-down. Now, press Ctrl to deselect them. And for our column headers from the Font group, click on Fill Color and choose Blue Accent 5. Let's make them bold increase their font size and from the alignment group let's choose center alignment for them here we will add 10 jobs so we can just add the numbers using fill handle too for our convenience as for description and duration we have a dummy shape where we can copy from now we have copied it from the dummy sheet and pasting it here using Ctrl V. There we are. Now from the template, we can see that job and their details will be added in this portion of data set and summary will be added within these four cells. Now our starting date is 12 October 2023. To get the end date, we can use a formula equals start date plus duration. Now we need to minus 1 from the amount since starting date is also considered in terms of total time. Enter. So our end date will be 13 October 2023. As for our second task, it will be started after the completion of first task. So first task plus its duration. Enter. So the second task will start at 14 October. Now our third job will also start right after ending the first task. So the formula will be similar to the first one plus duration. Enter. For layout designing, it will start from 
the completion of layout draft. So equals J6 plus I6. Enter. As for basic calculation, it will be started after completing the team discussion. So J7 plus duration for team discussion. Enter. Upgrade functionality will depend on basic calculation. So this one plus four. Now if we use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner, we can see that all these values will be added according to the upgrade functionality formula. As for the end date, the formula will be similar for all the cells here. Here we can see that each of the tasks are starting and ending according to their duration and we have an end date of 25 October 2023. Now it's time to add this summary. Here our project name will be Tracker Upgradation. So our start date will be the start date among all the start dates and we will add the minimum of them all. Tap. Let's add closing parenthesis here. Enter. And end date will have the max function, which will get the maximum date among all the end dates. Now, as for duration, we will use equals D5 minus C5 plus 1 since the start date is being excluded. Enter. Now, from the summary and the description, it's easy for us to understand that how workback schedule is working. Now it's time to add Gantt chart. Now in a new worksheet we have added this template so that here we can add our Gantt chart and here we will add the details information from the previous sheet. Now in B5 let's write a formula if here our logical test will be if summary worksheets G5 equals 0 or not. If that is equals 0, then value if true will be blank cell. If not, then it will type G5 of this summary sheet. Closing parenthesis, enter. Now copy this formula till F14 in this way. As we can see, our date formats are changed. So we can just click on them and use Control 1. So we can get format cells. Here, go to date category and scrolling down, let's choose this format. Now we can see the dates and understand them easily. Now we need date values for Gantt chart. For that, our first date will be the start date of the project. So go to summary sheet and click on the start date from the summary equals. Now, even though it's showing that the value is 12 October 2023, we can't see it. So let's go to home tab under alignment group, click on orientation and choose rotate text up like that. Let's increase the row height. Now we can easily understand. Now here, let's try a formula so that we get the next date of G4. Use the same format from the clipboard group using Format Painter. Now copy the formula till T4. Now for Gantt chart, if the task is continuing corresponding the dates, we will type on. For that, let's try a formula if here our logical test will be included within an AND function. Here logical one will be if G4, which is the starting date, make it constant using F4 key twice. So that column G changes as we go right side, but the row number four doesn't change. Is greater than or equal E5, which is the start date. Make it absolute using the F4 key three times so that the column E doesn't change, but row reference changes if we go downwards using fill handle. Comma G4, make it absolute twice, is less than or equals F5. Make it absolute using F4 key three times, like that. Now, if this logical test matches, then our output will be on. If not, it will show us blank cell. 
Now we can see that if this date is greater than or equal to starting date and this date is less than or equal to end date only then we will see on. Let's edit this to less than. Now it's okay. Enter. Now if we use fill handle to drag it till G14 and use it like that we can see that on is added according to the durations. Let's change the borders using no border then outside border. Here we go. Now understanding this GAN chart based on the letters within the cell on is not looking good. Let's try something else. Click on G5 to T14 and from the home tab under the styles group click on conditional formatting drop down. Go to highlight cell rules and select text that contains. On that type on from the drop down choose custom format. From the format cells window go to fill section and choose this color as fill and from the font tab choose font color as the same as fill color. Okay. okay. Now we can see that the font written is no longer visible here and we can easily understand the Gantt chart now. Now if we want to verify this, if we change starting date to 20 October, we can see an entire shift in our workback schedule also in our Gantt chart. Using these elaborate steps, you can also create a workback schedule in Excel. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.